the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Hmm. You should be able to jimmy open the garage door with a proper tool. Why don't you search the pool area, 47? Bodies, male and female, early thirties, executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now.
But today, Monumental Records announced a new record release by Synth Rock Sensation The Class. Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Should be interesting. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Piers Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client.
Mr. Donovan. Get down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. search. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. 
Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The state
stakes are as high as they can get. So that's Bruno Diaz, came in third last year on this track. He'd want to do better this time around, and I wouldn't be too surprised to see him on the podium again today. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance races. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the paddock. Best of luck, Grace. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. There is still plenty of time left, folks, and anything can happen. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance races. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time. When the time's up, we have our winner. I heard a couple of the guys talking. They 
said the car right, was behaving erratically in that last lap before the accident. You think anyone, you know, helped make the accident happen? Wouldn't be the first time to be this way. Remember two years ago when that truck was supposed to be Someone had met the car. That's exactly what I was thinking. Even with the added security, huh? What was that noise? Whoa, what the hell was that? Tim, it's Grace. You still at the race? I need a replacement right now. Packed up already. All right, thanks anyway, buddy. Talk later. Oh, crap! Okay, just keep a close eye, okay? We can't screw up. It's all our jobs on line here. The car is beginning to make some pretty strange noises. You! You're Think the junior slip now, that you got injured you yesterday, new right? <laughs> I am. Great. This is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone. Look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last-minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. Okay, this is not... Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. What the hell just happened? Sierra! champion is on the way to the celebration, just not quite there yet. Let's get those Magnum Don Perignon bottles lined up. I remember a few stories from back in the day. I can't go into detail, but those celebrations would sometimes last three days. Today, the drivers were so disappointed. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just gotta pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. Hey, big guy. I think it's I lost cracking. him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. I'll talk soon. Can you 
do me a favor? Go check if my keys are over there. The guy's crazy and I don't dare go over there, but you look pretty tough. Please. Did you see him? The guy that jumped me and grabbed my outfit? Hey, yo! Did you find the key? Well, it's been a very long time, hasn't it? Yes. How are you? Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. That is Ted Mendez, one of the Phil? country's it's most Ted influential here. military Just grade your call before heading over to the This must be connected to Kronstadt. For the new combat android presentation. Hey, no, Monkey. not yet. Keep it I'm real. letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right. I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. Greetings, sir. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Good to see you. Mr. 
Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. Story like that, the first run. Three months, pal. HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Uh, listen, I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been off the trip since the I can't work without my Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? How are you, sir? see you. I guess the traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety, or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Target acquired, WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Hey, go ahead. Make my day. Target acquired. Dummy A. Well, how's that for impressive? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more we can accomplish together. My brains, your money. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell and can be dropped anywhere on the planet using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, oh, just let sure. me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. How are you today, sir? Oh. You can't leave that here. You need to take it with you. 
So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, Knox. I'm ready for another demonstration, please. Excellent. But let me just call Mr. Mr. Knox and bring him down. Here. It's Derek again. Mendez is ready for round two. You really need to get down here ASAP. the rundown again. All right, I think we can skip the intro part. You know why we're building this, Ted. We're building the ultimate infiltration unit. Human-looking, driven by the best AI Kronstadt has ever built. A unit capable of full environmental immersion, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Palace is equipped with extremely advanced facial recognition systems, capable of complex skin texture analysis. Ultrasonic 3D information capture ensures the target acquires Robert Knox. Ah, oh, cripe. Both targets down. Well done, Ultrason. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? 
The Crusader. I can handle this Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 